Hi boys and girls, today is all about the anglerfish, which is a interesting sea creature. I'm gonna read you about some other weird sea creatures. This is a kid's National Geographic story. Brooke, shh. Here's our table of contents so that we know exactly what information we can find in the book and flip right to that page. You want to read the story with us? Yeah. All right. Say good morning. You say hi. Hi, everybody. All right. So, strange but true. That is a balloon fish. Many strange sea creatures live in the ocean. Some are beautiful, some are ugly, some are cute, and some are scary. Weird sea creatures are strange for a reason. The funny way they look and the strange things they do help them live in the ocean. Why do you think that this guy has those spikes? To protect himself, you're right. Tell me. Survival skills. Look at that. There's people under the water snorkeling and looking at the fish. Rocket. That is fun. Rocket. Some sea animals live in the shallow Rocket. ocean, which is the part that's not deep. And some live in the Rocket. deep ocean. The ocean can be a that's hard place to live. Fishy. Deep areas are cold and dark. It can, be found, it can be hard to find food down in the deep water. And the ocean can be dangerous. There are many predators. Any animal can quickly become dinner for another animal. Sea creatures have special skills that help them find food. They also have strange body parts that can help. That's not a frog, that's an eel. Eel. Eel and a seahorse. See that? Ooh, wait till you see this guy. They also have strange Eel. body parts that help them Eel. hide. It's a seahorse. Hide and stay safe from other animals. How weird are these sea creatures? It says, let's find out. This guy is a Dumbo octopus and he finds food on the ocean floor with his large eyes. Look at that. Wow. Look at this one. A fairy. That's a camouflage animal and it helps hide from other enemies. Camouflage also helps animals catch dinner. This is a stonefish. Did you know that was a fish? Yeah. Wow. No. <gasps> Here's our guy. Look at him. Ooh. I, actually, that wasn't our guy, but we're getting closer. A deep ocean gets very little light. It's super, super dark. Many animals that live there have large eyes, and the big eyes help them see in the darkness to find their prey. Look at those teeth. Ooh. Some animals that live deep in the dark sea have special tricks. They can make their own light called bioluminescence. Wow, that's a big word. Can you yes. say bioluminescence? Yeah. Some creatures use their own light as a flashlight to find yeah, prey. Bring you, bring you. Ooh, See Mom, that. That Here's another cool animal. The yeah. gulper eel, that's just fantastic. I'm in the middle of a video. Ew. This is the one we've been waiting for. Here's our angler fish. Isn't it an interesting looking fish? It has its own fishing pole called a lure. Lure. Can you say lure? The lure glows and other fish want to know what it is. When they get close, the angler fish eats them. Scary. There's lots of other animals that can be dangerous in the sea. Bumming into some sea creatures can be bad news. This one has venom, a liquid that can sting or even cause death. Here's that jellyfish that we learned about. 
This one's called a lionfish. He has spikes on, on his fins. You wouldn't want to touch him. Strange senses. That's a sea cucumber. A sea cucumber can feel tiny pieces of food stuck to its two feet. It curls its feet in and licks them clean. Whoa. See this submarine? Look how deep it can go. Down, 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 way down in the ocean. This is how we can find out about some of those sea creatures. People cannot go down that deep in the water. It's very dangerous for them because of the water pressure. It could actually crush a person. So we use machines called submarines that can go down deep in the ocean. Yes. And sometimes people control them from far away with a remote control, kind of like some of the cars that you guys might have. Sometimes people ride inside of them. Look at this guy. He's called a blobfish. Oh, yeah. Scientists blobfish use submarines funny. to find weird creatures like these. A from probably thousands. Kind of looks funny. Yeah, there's still probably many, many sea creatures that we don't even know about. Yep. Are you guys? Here's some of those animals that we talked about. Whoa! Pretty neat. Uh, ooh, Thanks for fun. listening to our interesting, weird sea creature story. We hope you learned something cool. Yeah.